Improving your circadian rhythms is probably one of the best and most important things you need to do for your health. I'm going to go through my nine tips how to do just that and get your circadian rhythms back in sync with nature. Okay, tip number one is to follow Mother Nature's prescription. What does this mean? This means seeing that early morning sunlight first thing as the sun is rising. Really important to set up your clock mechanisms and your circadian rhythms for the day. Also getting grounded, helping you to find that proper balance in all of your electrical and your magnetic systems in your body getting grounded in the morning ideally as well fantastic for your circadian biology tip number two is to fix your leptin resistance if you don't know what that is I have a bunch of other videos on it but this is really going to set the tone in terms of your proper metabolism and the way that your hormones are working in your body and a lot of people have an issue with their leptin and they don't even know it that's often why people are gaining weight and then develop insulin resistance and problems with blood glucose levels and a whole host of other diseases because it first started with that leptin resistance. So getting that under control is a big way to help to improve your circadian rhythms as well. Okay, tip number three is to get up and go to bed at the same time every single day. Yes, having that good sleep hygiene is gonna go a long way to help with all of your hormones, to help with your proper melatonin secretion and to really have that good circadian cycle. Tip number four is to stop eating at least three hours before bedtime. So ideally after the sun has set, we really shouldn't be eating. That is going to be changeable in different seasons, different time of the year, and depending on where you live. However, trying not to eat three hours before bed will go a long way to help with your proper secretion of your hormones like your melatonin, your leptin, your growth hormone during sleep as well, and to make sure that you're not spiking your blood glucose just before bed, which can offset, of course, your insulin and cause you to gain weight. Okay, tip number five is to sleep in a cool, dark room. So getting that temperature down and allowing the head to cool is very important. The brain needs to cool down for sleep. That will allow for your proper melatonin secretion and help for you to have those healthy circadian rhythms. Tip number six is to cover your skin and maybe wearing an eye mask if you like that to help with that sleep as well. If you have difficulty sleeping, I definitely do recommend it, getting that room as dark as possible and covering all of your skin because we do have light sensors in our skin and of course our eyes as well. Keeping that all closed and dark, very effective for your sleep but also for your circadian rhythms. Tip number seven is to avoid caffeine at least six or more hours before bedtime. We know that caffeine is super stimulating and some people are more sensitive than others, but you definitely don't want to have caffeine in the hours leading up to bedtime. Tip number eight is to avoid artificial light and blue light, especially after the sun has set. So this is a good time to be wearing your blue light blocking glasses, keeping your skin covered if you are indoors and there are lights on, keeping your skin covered to cover up those light sensors in the skin. Very important as well for your circadian rhythms. And tip number nine to help to improve your circadian rhythms is to have that proper mind, body, and nature connection. So you want to reconnect with nature's own natural rhythm, what's really important in life, and really maybe slowing down so that you can maybe reconnect, get outside, get back in tune with nature and all of mother nature's wisdom will be imparted on you the more that you reconnect with nature and your surrounding environment. Now, I talked about that leptin resistance. I want you to learn more if you haven't heard about this. Check out this video, 10 tips to fix leptin resistance. I'll see you there.